Hello and welcome to another campaign battle for Total War Warhammer 2 and we're going to be defending ourselves against a settlement garrison which has sallied out to confront us on the field it has a lot of white lions loaf and sea guard and some cavalry and three star dragons actually no one star dragon and two moon dragons so not quite as dangerous as the star dragon still pretty powerful uh, we got the support of black arc and we've got a fairly decent army but it's about 50 50 and um, we've only got a level 2 lord so we're gonna have to be careful with her she's not gonna be able to get stuck into this fight as much as we might want um, now these guys are ranged, they got range 165, we got 144, so they've actually got more range than us. So we have to be careful of that. Okay, let's take a look at the battle map terrain. So it looks like we're going to be at the bottom of a hill, although we might be able to set up just over this side. I hope we can. Lovely terrain. Yeah, we should be able to set up over here. I think we'd, we'd be better to do that because I don't think setting up in the bottom of that ditch is going to be a very good idea. Of course, we don't have a lot of space up here. And our line of sight isn't that good either. So let's shift these guys back a little. And our line of sight isn't too bad. It's not great. So we might actually put our... Well... We're going to spread our, our range around a little here. We need to make sure we're ready to deal with those dragons as they come in. And also their their own range could be a problem. So we need to watch out for that. I'd love to get our cavalry around behind them. I might stick these guys over in the forests and try and swing them around. Keep them hidden for the moment. So really where those dragons land, that's going to be the tricky thing. So we're going to have to spread our units around a little here. We need to be flexible when you're fighting against a lot of ranged, well not ranged, but flying units. Because they could land anywhere on the field. Okay. So now we do have artillery which should be able to get some good, sh good shots in first. Okay, there's those moon dragons, there's that star dragon. These guys are pretty tough, but they're not as bad as sword masters. If these were all sword masters, I'd be a lot more worried. Let's target their lead unit there. Love to have some magic in this battle, but unfortunately we don't have a sorceress with us. Okay, they're shifting their dragons around to this right flank. Just need to keep an eye on that. So they should give them something to think about. Okay, you can already see that range coming in, so we're going to pull these guys back a little. Try and focus our fire on that infantry. Gotta keep an eye on what these dragons are doing. Looks like they might be trying to get some fire breath in on the side of us there. It's not really a good matchup. I'm trying to counter charge cavalry with Black Arc Corsairs, but. They're gonna have to just take the hit. Let's 
push these guys up. Okay, you can see, you look at that amount of damage that has done already. They are breaking. Let's get our front line engaged. Okay, let's get our artillery. Targeting some of their range. Uh, let's try and get our cavalry into play. It's doing a good job along our front. It's that right flank where those dragons are that I'm concerned about. Let's get some nice bombardments down on the back of these guys. Hopefully we won't hit our own men here. There we go, that's some nice hits. Okay, they're really doubling up on this flank. We need to get some support over there very quickly. Let's get that black guard up there as quick as we can. Let's try and deal with this cavalry. Swing these archer units around. Let's get our death hag involved as well. Try and move those archer units out of the way. Now these guys are getting a little chewed up over here. But we've got our cavalry coming in the back, which is nice. So these are spearmen, so it's not going to be a great matchup for them, but we need to try and take them out of play. Push these guys up. That is a good bunch up. There we go. If we can just take out these dragons, I'll feel a lot better. Okay, these guys are starting to break those. We really need to get some support over here as well. We just don't have enough men, but we just popped the murderous prowess, so that's going to be good for us. It's going to give us a bit of a boost here, so we really need to get let's get these additional units in against those guys. Okay, we're not doing too badly. Our cover is holding up better than I expected it to. You can see that star dragon, how tough it is to take down. I mean, I've got three really strong units on it. I've got a Death Hag, I've got Executioners, I've got a Black Guard. I thought they've just completely broken that Corsair unit. And with it, they've mostly broken our front line. So we're going to turn and we're going to get all our fire in on there. I think we're actually... Okay, now we're, losing, we're beginning to lose that fight now. So we're going to pull these guys out and try and get a charge in. Okay, we've seen off that, so we need to shift some of these units over to boost that front line. Still got a lot of cav on this side we need to watch out for. And they've sent a dragon in against our lord to help her out. Not to help her out, to help out their own men. And a damn star dragon at the back. This is tricky. Try and get a good charge in against these guys. Not too worried about losing too many units in this fight. I've got a black heart nearby so I can recruit directly from that and replenish.
Okay, we're starting to break some of these units here, but we need to keep up this fire. Get some support in there. I'm amazed that these bolt throwers are actually still going. Let's get both of our cavalry units out of there. Okay, if we can keep these guys on the move and running, we'll just keep targeting them with our range. Let's pull them right back out of the way. Okay, those damn dragons. That's the real problem here. Problem is we need our range target in theirs, but we also need to focus on those dragons. So let's get our Death Hag into support. And that black guard. Okay, I think we're slowly grinding our win here. Moon Dragon's almost down. Corsairs. These Corsairs are just... They're not, they're not that effective against Cavalry, but they're doing a good enough job. Keeping them busy, at least. So you can see more units coming back here, so we need to start targeting them with our range. Really push them away from us. Uh, they got more coming in. Starting to rally some of their men here, so you need to watch out for that. If we can break the back of this army though, we can take one of their strongest settlements. It looks like they're going to try a, a nice counter attack over on this left side, but we've got a lot of really good range. Some of those dragons are almost down. Of course, almost isn't quite good enough for what we need. Okay, our cavalry has gone. I'm pretty confident we can hold this right. We've still got our artillery in the fight, which is really good for us. These dark shards are going to have to get into a little bit of melee. So this is good versus multiple units. We'll drop down here. Hopefully, we'll hit something. I thought we had that in the bag, but they've come back strong here, so we need to make sure we really see them off. It looks like that dragon might be down. Now that dragon is down, so that's good. Looks like this one is almost down. And I think that might be it. We've still got a few units that don't quite want to route. Nope, they are all gone. So another punishing fight against the High Elves. We are in the late game here, so we're coming up against you know really top tier troops and armies. So it's a real grind for both sides, these kind of battles. You know, so much range fire on each side going in. Strong infantry, strong monster units. But so far we've come out on top on all of these battles. Only just in a lot of them. We've lost a lot of troops in each one. We've been emerged to the victor. 
I wonder if we can take out that noble before we go. There we go. Yeah, a lot of our victories have been uh, quite difficult like that. You can look at some of the damage those dragons did, 145, 171. So they were really were key for the high elf army there. But not bad for a level 2 lord. Okay, so we lost some Corsair units, but as I said, I've got a black arc nearby, so that can re replenish them immediately. Okay, so that's it for this campaign battle. Um, so we've taken another very strong high elf settlement here. We've kind of landed in the real heartland of their empire. So it's not unexpected that we'll be meeting a lot of tough troops. But we've actually now secured this region. And we can now begin marching on the capital. Just as soon as we replenish. We're going to be sending up our two, two of our strongest armies to lay siege to the high of capital. So that should be coming up very shortly. So I will see you there.